everyone welcome back to the channel of ecoholics so in today's video we are going to solve a numerical to check whether the given function is quasi concave or not so i have done two videos on quasi concavity where i have discussed two different methods to check the function for quasi concavity you can find the link for those videos in the description box below let's get to the question so the question asks you to check for quasi concavity in the given function where function is equal to x y but both x and y are strictly positive so what do we have to do so in the mathematical video in the part 2 of quasi concavity video i told you one method to check for the even and odd determinants so i'm going to use that method for this video so the first thing since there are just two variables so it means i'm going to have only six different kind of derivatives the partial derivatives so in the bordered hessian matrix my bordered hessian matrix for this function should look like this 0 f dash 1 f dash 2 since i have just two variables over here so f dash 1 represents the first order derivative with respect to x and f dash 2 represent the first order derivative with respect to y So this is my bordered hessian. Right? So I have to just fill I have to just fill the values in this matrix over here. So let us see. For this function the bordered hessian would be 0. When I say f dash 1 So what will be the first order derivative of this with respect to x? It would be equal to y here. Similarly what would be the first order derivative with respect to second variable it would be x only so same values i'm going to put here now i want to find the first order derivative with respect to first variable that is x but second order also with respect to first variable that is x only so f dash 1 is y if i try to derivate it again with respect to x since i don't have any x related variable it would become zero So now I have to derivate this with respect to second variable because I have to find f double dash one two. It would be one. On the same note, I'm going to have one here and I'm going to have zero here. Now for checking the even and odd determinants over here, I would be first taking the determinant of this matrix zero y y zero. This would be my d one. So it would be equal to zero y y zero. So let me check the determinant. It would be zero into zero zero minus y into y y square. So I know y is a positive number. Anyway, whichever number it is, y square would always be positive. So the negative sign in front of it makes it strictly less than zero. Since y cannot be equal to zero, so y square can also not be equal to zero. So I have got my d one strictly less than zero. so the odd determinant has come out to be strictly less than 0 now after that let me work with d2 so when i come to d2 this is my d2 y0 x1 so y0 x1 so let me find the determinant i'm going to get y minus 0 y so i've got y now i know y is strictly greater than 0 so let me put this here so i have got d2 strictly greater than 0 So it means my odd determinant is negative and my even determinant is strictly positive. So it is going to be quasi concave. But I told you in that video where I was teaching you this method that you have to go till d3 at least because sometimes d3 can be positive also which does not fulfill the condition of the quasi concavity. So let us just check that. So when it comes to d3 I would be taking these two columns 0 y x1 When I check I'm going to get 0 minus xy Now since x and y both are positive so their product will also be positive but I have a negative in front of this so it makes the minus xy strictly less than 0 so hence d3 is also strictly less than 0 So it means d1, d3, which are my odd determinants, they are negative, strictly negative. Whereas my even determinant, it is positive. 
Hence, even determinants positive and odd determinants negatives make this function a quasi-concave function. So yes, this function is going to be quasi-concave function. If you found this video useful, please like, share this with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone for watching.